it's deep enough. <laughs> Good effort though. Welcome to another episode of Sailing Look and Mew. In this episode, we take you to the Whit Sundays. Where are the Whit Sundays in relation to the rest of the world? So, who discovered the Whit Sundays? It was Captain James Cook in June 1770 on board the ship the Endeavour. There are 74 islands that make up the Whitsundays and we have only visited a handful of them. little motor sail. We left South Mole Island this morning and we're heading over to Tongue Island today. We're just cruising through this passage and we should be at Tongue Island in the next hour or so. We're going against the current at the moment that's why we're motoring. We've just got the head sail out making a really really smooth sail today. Once we anchored in Tung Bay, we headed straight to the landing beach on Whitsunday Island. From there we took a 20 minute stroll up to Hill Inlet Lookout. Sundays have certainly made all the walking tracks walkable. They've been very, very easy to descend and ascend. Once we reached the peak of the track, we were rewarded with the most amazing views overlooking Hill Inlet and Whitehaven Beach. at Chalky's Beach and see look at you all the way over there in the distance we're at Chalky's Beach at the moment uh, on one of the moorings which is just across the way from Whitehaven 
the wind's not too bad. It's about 16, 17 knots. And we've just done a little walk up to this lookout. We've got fabulous views out across to Whitehaven Beach and across to Hill Inlet. And yeah, beautiful, bright, sunny skies just becoming clouded. We've got a forecast of rain coming up uh, from tomorrow and for the day after. But we had a pretty good run. We haven't had any rain for a couple of weeks now. It's Well, after nearly three weeks on board, it's time to head back into Hamilton Island as we say farewell to Mickey and Scott. We left Hamilton Island for a sail back round to Whitehaven Beach to catch up with some friends. quite popular to arrive at Whitehaven Beach by plane and when we were there this plane arrived. Once they're here they just moor the plane close to shore and swim in. It was fun watching the plane take off again and uh, you really think it won't make it but it gets there in the end. So we can, we've got two positions of sitting, we can either sit, exhale, all the way over, big side stretch, big one, nice move, inhale, back up. Okay, do that a couple more times, inhale. We decide to sail north to Hayman Island. Hayman Island is the most northern island in the Whitsunday group. It is privately owned, but the public are very welcome to join for day activities. It is surrounded by beautiful fringing coral reef, making snorkeling one of the most popular activities to do. We're in a beautiful spot called Blue Pearl Bay at Hayman Island. It's pretty nice here and calm. It's a great snorkeling spot too. It's high tide at the moment, so we won't be doing any snorkeling. There's a few boats here. We're all on mooring boys. A lovely big boat out there. Well, we left Hayman Island this morning around about seven o'clock, so we could head up to Hook Reef. It's been an incredible trip up here. We've had to motor sail all the way because there's been absolutely no wind and the sea conditions have been a mill pond. Simply gorgeous. And I cannot believe how many whales that we saw along the way. I think I lost count at around about 10. And I think we had, um, the very first one was about 15 metres off our bow. It was just an incredible encounter. So we're actually inside the reef at the moment. There are a lot of boats around and we're just trying to avoid the crowd of them all. And we're just gonna find our own little spot up here and drop our anchor and go snorkeling.
After spending some great time at Hook Reef, it was time to head back to do some more exploring of the Whitsunday Islands. We're talking about places in the Whitsundays that we really like, and one of them is here at Butterfly Bay. So, Sue, tell us a little bit about Butterfly Bay. Well, something that I've just discovered recently is that Butterfly Bay is actually shaped like a butterfly with one of its wings that is slightly misshapen. And coincidentally, the butterflies here love to hide in the shade of the trees located on the shore. So other than the butterflies, what sort of stuff do we do here at Butterfly Bay? We go snorkeling, of course. It's pretty good too. It's not, not a bad place to go snorkeling, one of the best places in the Whitsundays. The other thing that's really good about here is it's got lots of moorings. So you don't have to anchor because it's pretty deep and uh, being on a mooring gives you peace of mind and uh, you can sleep at night time. Yeah, so this is one of our favourite places to come to. Um, one of the many bays that is located on the northern part of Hook Island. Although we didn't make it to Nara Inlet this time, we have been there before. It is here where you will find the Naro Aboriginal cave paintings. Well, as they say, another day, another bay. We're here at Manta Ray Bay. It's been a number of years since we've been here. The last time I actually scuba dived here, but today we will be snorkeling. We've been greeted by lots of big fish. I'm not quite sure of the names of them, but surely I will find out. And it's just beautiful. The colors are just gorgeous. like to thank you for watching this episode if you like our channel why not hit that subscribe button to be notified of any upcoming episodes in the meanwhile look in view behind mm -hmm.